One of the greatest achievements since English football began. Arsenal have gone through an entire league campaign without losing. The first time it's happened for over 100 years. Played 38, won 26, drawn 12, lost exactly none. At the top level, 38 games. Just a sign of a high level of quality and a big sign of attitude. Third, first, second, 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 first, second, and now once again, and most impressively of all, first record-breaking champions since Arsene Wenger made this team great. I feel this is just really the beginning now of uh, something very special. These players have a great opportunity to be truly great players at this club. We're still winning. Next for Arsenal, you know, is uh, to be consistent. Uh, try to come back and uh, win it again. Don't forget, we, we fight with the uh, two richest clubs in the world and they will not just sit in the armchair and Lucas walking around there and parading, you know. I must say, let's keep concentrating on the quality of our game and be as good as we can be. After the invincible season, expectations were high. Everyone was expecting Arsenal to dominate European football for ages to come. They finish forward in the next season. Now it was up to the young guns to bring Arsenal back to where it belonged. And there was only one way to do it. Win shed loads of title. Fabregas, Ratface Gunt, Ashley Moneyhor, and many more did exactly what Arsenal's fans predicted them to do. Win a shitloads of title. It's not like Arsenal fans have any grudges or resentment against them. Arsenal was looking a bit weak, but thanks to the saviour Robin Van Persie. Arsenal was not relegated <laughs> and Arsenal was formally named as RVPFC. Right away through, oh yes he can! A crowning goal for Arsenal and Robin Van Persie and that should be enough to win them the cup. Robin C, look at that, brilliant. A goal worthy of winning any match. What a goal from Robin Van Persie! It's a goal that belongs in a different game! He was also bought by Manchester United and won a Premier League title for them. Which Arsenal fans are very grateful for. Arsenal, two команды штрафной. Подача Ван Перси. Один ноль. Ван Перси. Arsenal soon got tired of plastic or shitty and other clubs buying his best players. He knew something has to be done. He built a team of legends. Each player so prestigious and legendary. Even the Arabs don't have the money to buy them. And hence, this legendary team was born.
but the pressure was mounting on Arsene as his legendary team didn't deliver any title and only played beautiful football. Wanga did something which no one in the wildest dream can predict. He spent money. He bought Ozo, Lazakate, and soon realized he's shit. So he bought the most OP FIFA 12 player, and FIFA 13, and 14, and 15, 16, 17, and 18, and 19, and 22. Side pass merchant, own gold merchant, Santi Crisola. Male fashion model, Wash to Podoski, and some other players which are irrelevant to be remembered. And they end up winning two FA Cups. What was in disbelief? How could Arsenal won any title? And that was not it. Arsenal was on the top of the table in December. Expectations were building as Arsenal fans were getting more ambitious. They wanted the title. The Arsenal inefficiency to deliver the title triggered the biggest revolution the mankind has ever witnessed. Find out. It didn't work, and Arsenal signed a new contract. Just another Arsenal thing. But soon Arsenal can get what they desperately beg for. Arsenal left the club on May 14, 2018. Arsenal prepare for a new start, filled with hope of winning more titles. It was an era of living in. Good evening was a man of total control, with a vision for a successful future of club, an absolute alpha predator, hungry for titles. He demanded total control over the dressing room, and to do it, the first thing he did was an election to elect the club captain. What an alpha move. <laughs> then he will go on to build the meanest, toughest defense line in the world football.
And then he did. What good evening. Do best. When Europa League. But you can never take Arsenal out of Arsenal, can you? Arsenal fans again were rampant and arts club to fire Emery. One evening turned out to be a bad evening for good evening. Good evening was fired after a successive stretch of defeat and losing control over the dressing room. And Arsenal again prepared for a new era. This time it was laid by. Wanna be? Will Pep wanna be be able to bring Arsenal back to where it belongs, the fourth position? We'll have to wait to see, as this season is most likely gonna get cancelled due to a fucking virus. Oh,